Hello guys, welcome to the episode 20 of the series of tutorials on creating the web API and consuming it with MVC in ASP.NET Core 3.1. I shall continue to upload one episode every day. This episode marks the start of the MVC client side application to consume the web API created and completed tested over the previous 19 parts. I shall walk you through the creation of the MVC application in this lecture. Since these episodes and the code base are built in continuation from the previous ones, I request you to go through them before viewing this one. There are plenty of useful takeaways if you view the tutorials through to the end. Finally, a request to subscribe to the channel and share it with the like-minded people. So let's see what we are going to do. Welcome back. So this is a new section and in this section I will be creating the MVC project, MVC client that will now communicate to the Web API project created in the last section. So, what is the learning outcome? By the end of this lecture, we shall learn how to create an MVC project model view controller template in Visual Studio using ASP.NET Code 3.1. I have now flipped over to Visual Studio and our existing solution which is Web API Core MVC Client with one project. So I will add the new project. So click on right click and add new project. So in the add a new project dialog, I will go with the ASP.NET Core Web Application and then click Next. Call this Web API consume and click create. And this comes with the .NET Core framework and ASP.NET Core 3.1, which I will go for the 3.1. Although I have got ASP.NET Core 5 installed, which is the latest in uh, ASP.NET Core, but because we have already started the series in 3.1, I will go with the 3.1 and it is very easy to migrate from 3.1 a project built in ASP.NET Core 3.1 to ASP.NET Core 5 following a few steps. Okay, so let's get going with the web application model view controller with ASP.NET Core 3.1 selected, configure for HTTPS and then click on create. So it has already created the project for me with the templates, basic template and a www root folder which has got the CSS, JS, JavaScript, CSS and these uh, bootstrap libraries with jQuery. So these will be the serving as the content. So it is already created for me along with the model views and controller folders with some default um, classes. Okay, So we will discuss them lecture by lecture each of um, these uh, three con um, folders and the root folder in our forthcoming lectures. So in this lecture, we have created the ASP.NET Core MVC application with MVC template model view controller template so that we can consume it as a client for the Web API project also developed in ASP.NET Core 3.1 in the previous section.